Hi everyone and welcome back to another video with me Shruti Vashisht. You're watching Living Our Ascension. So it is incredibly hot today <laughs> in Delhi which is where I live. Um, it's humid and really really hot um, at the same time. So I'm gonna try and film this quickly. <laughs> Um, and today we're using the Heart Taro, which is whoops, which is this deck. I was somehow guided to use this one. So let's see what messages come up. So if you'd like to receive, uh, you know, your free message, then stay tuned to this uh, video. Keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I do free readings every week. Um, also, I want to say that I have this new course out. It's my first course ever. It's called Manifest Soulmate Relationships and you can find the link below this video. It's on 33% off for a few days only before it's launch uh, and I'm about to launch it. You can also find a free mini course that you might want to try before you order this one. You know, it has some practices and if you like them, um, then you can decide if you want to purchase the other one. Ah, okay. And I have all kinds of personal services below this video. Um, so please check them out. Also, all of the links will be below this video. Just check in the description box. Um, so now we move into the reading. Please choose either number one, number two or number three. And after that, you can just scroll through and uh, find your number and receive your message there. Okay, so if you chose number one, um, then we're going to pick a card now from this deck. I'm just opening it. So here we have these cards. Let's pick one, maybe this one. Ooh, you get the world. And if you don't know what that is in the tarot, it means that all of your wishes are fulfilled, everything lines up. Uh, it's like a return. It's like the beginning of a new cycle, but it feels amazing. You know, it's, it's something that lands for you that is um, um, what you wanted. Or even if it's not what you wanted, it, it, it's the start of something really fulfilling, like a whole new cycle, a cycle of love. And you can see here, uh, you know, that the, these two are so happy in a relationship together. So this is obviously symbolism. Um, and there's, you know, all of this greenery, these fruits around them. So there's abundance, there's love. Everything just feels complete in this card. This is a card of completion. It's a card of completion and new beginnings at the same time, to me anyway. And uh, it represents kind of like the coming together of the masculine and the feminine within us. Um, and um, it's, it's like, you know, when we usually find success in our world is when we combine both the qualities of the masculine and feminine. Because that is what wholeness is, when, when the both of them combine and work together in harmony, in synchronicity. And um, the masculine is the forward movement, but the forward movement happens best after we have... Whoops, I dropped it. So the forward movement happens best when we have um, first gone within and sort of nurtured ourselves with love, um, with the inner knowing of what it is we really want at a heart level. Because otherwise just going forward in the world full speed and building, building, building doesn't bring you fulfillment, does it? Because then you're doing it mindlessly and you're just acting, acting, doing action. Maybe you even have a lot of achievements. Um, but they won't necessarily uh, be what you wanted and or you'll find that they don't bring you satisfaction you're just doing it for the sake of acting in the world and you know for the sake of achieving something but it's not what brings you fulfillment but when we we have learned we have mastered how to combine both in a certain area of our life then that leads to completions it leads to the most fulfilling results so that is what this is saying for you that you're finally experiencing that and it might be a more humble uh, beginning but there's some sort of a manifestation reward or uh, recognition that you're getting now um, at this time which is um, showing you that you have arrived at a certain state of completion within um, you know a particular area of your life where um, it's uh, it's your life is within balance you know this is this is true balance and you have struck it so you can um, congratulate yourself for that everything that you've been working with um, you know any self work that you've been doing it's really helped you and it's it's brought this state together for you so I hope that the message resonated with you we're just going to use my book as well I brought a book today and I'm just gonna open it to a random page I really like this book I've um, spoken about it in other videos 
uh, for self mastery but we're just gonna I'm gonna open it to a random page and read a random line from there the first one that I see that sticks out to me and I'll tell you what that message is okay so the other requirement is that each members spiritual vision is compatible with the spiritual vision of the community so this is interesting um, to me this is talking about how um, uh, you know what the work that you are doing or let's say if you are if there's employees working under you or there's co-workers or something you're heading a team um, or even if you're just on your own working um, whether it's your work or your you know you're you're at home managing the home whatever it is that task that projects things that we are responsible for um, it feels like what that this is about that <laughs> your achievement and things coming into balance and uh, this balance is actually representing uh, your service in the world as well which is why it is fulfilling and it feels like the universe is at your feet okay so i hope that you enjoyed that message let me know in the comments below um, what you thought of it you know especially in combination with uh, the message that we got from the book if it made sense uh, let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to like this video as well. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, so if you chose number two, then let's pick a card. So here we have the heart tarot and we're going to pick one. So here it is. Um just have a look at the image yourself first and I'm gonna look at it too so it shows the image of a man who is holding a shield and he's holding a shield and he's um, kind of like it's a shield of love though and he's walking away so he's prepared for any sort of um, let's say attack or whatever you want to call it but at the same time there's this looseness about him you know he's not like uh, standing there just to pick a fight so he has his boundaries in place i think i feel like this applies to your relationships because we just had the eclipse and you know things are a little bit intense we're all feeling intense emotions uh, for different reasons but um perhaps for you this is regarding some kind of relationships in your life or, or some people that are there at this time and um you might feel like people are attacking you whether that is on social media you know if you're sharing your work online whether it's at home or whether it's colleagues it could really just be anybody um clients you know but um you have it, it feels like the guidance for you is to have firm boundaries it's not like you're supposed to just take anything but at the same time don't have like the strong uh, front in the sense of you know stiff front because the more stiff that you are uh, the more that something the more of a block you become and so something can hurt you more it's more solid whereas when we're loose and flexible and at the same time um, firm but not um, firm but not um, uh, stiff <laughs> so be firm but not stiff so because there, then there's some fluidity that's there so you have your boundaries in place you should know what those boundaries are with other people and you have to be able to say them in a loving way um, and uh, that is the highest path for you right now the highest way in which you can experience um, you know more peace more harmony and um, yeah just overall just navigate your way in a graceful manner you know um, and let's see okay so I also have a book here and I'm just gonna pick a oops sorry I'm gonna pick a random page from this book I really like this book I've uh, spoken about it in another video um, for self mastery so we're just going to pick a random line from it by opening a random page and we'll see what comes what message is there for you so here it says once you have cleared your identification with a particular life lesson and are certain that you no longer have any part of you that wishes to continue learning it you are ready to break any contracts or agreements that may be lingering in your causal body um, yeah so basically it feels like this relationship or um, uh, these uh, lower contracts you know this this particular pattern that you might have or um, uh, let's say in the past you let people trigger you you know it's a particular trigger that comes up we all have those in, in relationships um, so this particular trigger how you are dissolving it at this time and this is a really great time because you can dissolve things permanently 
you know eclipses cause uh, these bigger life shifts and changes so even though things escalate more as well but when we make the right choice within within that chaos um in this case you know you having firm boundaries but at the same time not being um uh impermeable you know being a little bit more fluid and soft as well having that soft side but having firm boundaries when you're able to do that then you know you have this uh, security within you that nobody can um nobody can walk all over me nobody can um you know control me because the reason we get angry with other people or or you know we feel any sort of negative emotion or we uh, react to them in some way this always happens when we feel uh like we are disempowered like that person has a hold over us somehow that if they do something or say something um we will have no choice so this is you claiming back your choice <laughs> um you know it's showing that you are ready for to move on like this message says that you have cleared your identification with your with this particular pattern with a particular life lesson and it's time to move on once you are um clear about that you no longer have this identification and you're certain that you no longer have a part of you that wishes to continue learning this then you are ready to break any contracts or agreements that may be lingering that are no longer required and this doesn't always mean that we let go of certain people it could um but um you know sometimes those people stay however the relationship changes you know the pattern the old patterns are what leave with them um and what's really formed is this more uh, harmonious connection where it's uh, you know there's these perfectly defined boundaries um but at the same time there's openness so i hope this message was helpful for you let me know in the comments below if it really resonated <laughs> i thought that the message we got from the book and the card are uh, quite aligned you know so nothing happens uh, just randomly it's all synchronicity Um yeah let me know in the comments below how that resonated don't forget to subscribe to this channel don't forget to like it and I'll see you again in the next one Okay so if you chose number 3 then we're going to pick a card now and woo This is so similar to uh number 2 the the image anyway I'm just going to look at put the card is once I've shown you um okay so there's a man that's there and he is uh <laughs> wearing a cape of love and he is holding up a checkered flag a flag of love this is interesting okay so i really feel like um he's welcoming something in so you are welcoming in love and you know those checkered flags like i don't know why but it's making me think of those moments where in in those movies where there's like a couple of guys that are sitting in a car and there's this usually it's a woman holding a checkered flag and she does that and then the the race begins <laughs> so um i feel that um there's excitement that's there because that's what races are about right they're exciting um and um wow that that was a parrot so loud um i don't know i just i'm getting this feeling like there's all of these parrots and with the races and everything like there's competition that's there and it's kind of like you know maybe you're starting a new relationship or something or um you are considering one and there's more than one option that you have at the moment it's like that's what i'm i don't know that's what i'm getting from those two images that came to me for, with the uh, you know boys sitting in the cars and like determining who is the best one the winner and um uh, all of these parrots also sort of they're just like flying across the sky all together there were like at least uh, 15 of them um chasing one after the other and um you are this person just welcoming that welcoming in this beautiful energy of abundance of uh, um options you know not everybody has options all the time or feels themselves deserving to have options so now that you have it you need to open your heart and embrace it and say yes i'm worthy instead of you know not looking at it um so it doesn't mean that you have to be a woman by the way you know that's just a metaphor that we're using here because like um feminine energy is about receptivity and masculine energy uh is about forward momentum and you know that competition and stuff so so it's really about uh, the the energies and both these energies exist in all of us no matter our gender 
so um, it's kind of like you just need to open up and you need to embrace that that you have so many options and really you know it's like um, you're abundant and you have to know that that it's love is here for you all the time and um, you know like one of those people that's really popular in high school and they just know they're not in a hurry to be in a relationship necessarily because they know that they have so many options you know it's like yeah they're just enjoying attention and they are uh, considering their options and you know life is nice <laughs> so it's that energy and you need to open your heart to just receive it uh, it may be the beginning of a new relationship that you're considering at this time as well that's coming but let's see uh, we have a um, I forgot that we have a book today and we're going to open up a random page uh, in this book and see what message we get you know which will add to that message so I'm just like right now randomly opening up okay so it says here mm, in addition to tones and chants there are musical progressions that can trigger healing it is well known that certain classical and new age music pieces can enhance or induce a blissful state in the listener uh, so yeah I, I feel that this is your message and you may think that this is not connected you know what what does music have to do with the message so far but to me uh, I always think of music as a vibration you know as like this one of the highest vibrations that there is like when we think of like angels we're all we're with one of the ways we think of them is singing you know and um, uh, one of those higher ways of uh, being like when we think of the cosmos also it's like there's these different it's like sounds and music that's interacting with each other because sound is like a finer higher vibration than the physical um, you know our physical bodies and and um, how we exist on the earth and not just us but like these physical dimensions that exist here um, and sound is like a finer vibration of that you know um, it's almost like we are made of sound we are made of vibration so when the sound is produced in harmony um, within us it's it's vibrating in a harmonious way and not like clashing and stuff um, that's when our chakras are, are aligned that's when we feel harmony and that's when we feel love so I feel that that's how it's connected that you are vibration and uh, sound is vibration so your message is that in addition to tones and chants there are musical progressions that trigger healing it is well known that certain classical and new age music pieces can enhance or induce a blissful state in the listener so you might find that music is really important for you this week and it's helping you to come into that love frequency that I'm speaking about because it's like I said it's about harmony you know like one of those musicals like being in one of those uh, Disney movies or you know like a musical where um, you flow from like celebration to love to you know how it's all over the top but your heart feels like that it, it almost feels like it's in this constant flow of, uh, of love um, and happiness <laughs> you know that uh, happily ever after feeling but you just live in it constantly um, so it's that level of harmony that you might be feeling and music can be helping you to trigger it um, to come into it in case you're finding it uh, hard in some way so try that and let me know what this message particularly means for you <laughs> because uh, the other two messages it was uh, pretty clear like in choice number one and two um, how they related to the card and this is slightly different but at the same time not really so I'd love to hear in the comments below how it relates to you. Let me know um, and uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. And I hope you enjoyed this reading. I'll see you in the next video.